an effective implementation of circularity in the built environment requires a view on all the scales from material, um, components, buildings, neighborhoods, cities and regions. Yes, and for some time now we've developed the scales to aspect model within the circular built environment hub, Tillman is leading. And um, well, during those workshops we came up with this model and we wanted, really wanted to test it. Um, yeah, with many people coming from, from different disciplines and, and yeah. So that's why we organized this summer school on circularity in the built environment. We were very, very happy with the Turner. Um, we've had uh, yeah, a series of lectures here. I think it was 14 lecturers, guest lecturers coming in and a series of workshops to go along with this. And now we are on our last day here and uh, we are very excited with how things have turned out. Yeah, I'm very happy with the, the crowd we gathered here. There are 40 people from different disciplines. We have graduate students, we have PhD students and we have people from practice joining our summer school. So the area we've been working in is uh, Binkhorst. We chose that specifically for its diversity and, and the way it's been developing over the past years. And we used the scales to aspects model to, uh, and applied it in Binkhorst to check out its limitations perhaps or the opportunities it provides us with. It's a very good example of a former industrial area that needs to be redeveloped. This redevelopment requires material, so it's a chance for us to see how can we make it more circular. At the same time, functions there in the area create waste, or actually there is a function is about waste distribution. So there are a lot of possibilities to make this in a better way. And that's what we try to find out. The concept of circular economy really changes on the view on the built environment. Uh, we look at resource flows, stakeholders involved, uh, managerial aspects, technology and many, many other uh, aspects that really help us transform our built environment into a circular one. And considering that circularity is a concept in the making, it's very important for us to keep exploring that with as many people as we can. And that is why the turnout we had here provided us with an opportunity to check that across many different disciplines and many different cultural backgrounds. Mm -hmm. What I appreciated at, uh, at this summer school uh, was that it's actually mirroring the complexity and the difficulties that we are all, being it in practice, learning, uh, research, education, busy with. Because it's about getting different disciplines together and unravel the complexity that is in the circularity transition based on a specific context. And this specific context provides us the possibility that we have to step out of theorizing. No, we have to make it concrete. And that's something that's important. Zooming in and zooming out is something that is crucial in relation to a circular built environment. <laughs> There's four rules of thumb um, that I always apply to my context, and that is uh, the origin of the materials, the composition of the materials, uh, the operation of the materials, how are they used, uh, and then the future of the materials, where do they go to. And these four basically could define, they could make or break circularity potential. Because uh, you really learn a lot, it's like uh, brainstorming. I give you some insights, maybe not for your research, but uh, it can really give you absorb an, a lot of energy, uh, not a, a lot of knowledge in different areas. It can maybe contribute to you a little bit in the future, I think. All the inputs we got in the lectures, I have to say it was um, a lot sometimes um, in the mornings, um, right, but right. it was so inspiring, right? Um, right? So it also made me like completely rethink uh, my whole mm. uh, thinking and my whole PhD to see all this transdisciplinary work um, between the scales. It was really inspiring. This, uh, what did you from the summer school? Ja, es ist fantastisch hier in Delft. Es ist so cool, äh, mit unterschiedlichen Leuten aus allen Bereichen zusammen zu sein und Ideen zusammen zu entwickeln. Uh, so the summer school is quite packed. It's uh, in three days. It's very intense, uh, but there is also a lot of uh, uh, space to get to know the people, to enjoy yourself, um, and uh, to get to know beautiful Delft. 
Uh, for me, the lectures were very interesting because they're sort of short, concise and to the point. Well, circularity requires a massive systemic change and therefore it is required that all people consider its impact uh, on the way they, they do things and they work. So um, in order for the systemic change to happen, we need as many people as possible joining this discussion and working towards a circular built environment. And uh, we can educate the next generation of designers and decision makers.